Welcome back to the African web today, we dive into a transformative story from Botswana that's capturing attention across Africa and beyond. Imagine a leader who isn't swayed by Western ideologies like capitalism or socialism, but instead aims to create a unique vision for African democracy, a governance model designed from the ground up, specifically for Africa. This is precisely what Botswana's new president, Duma Boko, represents. He's not just talking about change, he's advocating for a revolutionary system that aligns with Africa's own needs and values. But the question on everyone's mind is, Kaya's vision not only reshaped Botswana, but also set a precedent for the entire continent. Will his approach inspire African nations to reclaim their governance and economic policies? Stick around to find out as we delve deep into what an African democracy looks like through the eyes of Duma Boko. And before we dive in, make sure to subscribe to the African web and hit that bell icon so you don't miss any of our updates on Africa's most important stories. Let's begin by unpacking what makes Duma Boko's approach so revolutionary. Unlike many leaders who are content with existing Western political systems, Boko challenges the very foundation of these ideologies. He rejects capitalism's tendency to favor the rich while ignoring the struggles of everyday people, and he sees socialism as equally limited, often restricting individual initiative. For Boko, the solution doesn't lie in these established systems. Instead, he believes that Africa needs a unique democratic model crafted with African values at its core. He argues that history is filled with valuable lessons, but no universal formula for success. Boko often emphasizes that Africans don't need to choose sides between capitalism and socialism. Instead, he suggests that the real question is how to build a society that supports the well-being of everyone. Why should we accept a system simply because it has succeeded somewhere else? He asks. Botswana has its own history, its own strengths, and its own challenges. Our democracy should reflect that. His approach advocates for a democratic structure where local communities have a direct say in policies, where people feel heard, valued, and empowered. So, what does this model of African democracy look like? At its heart, Boko's model prioritizes collaboration and community empowerment. Instead of policies being handed down from a central authority, his vision is one where local communities work alongside leaders to address their specific needs and circumstances. In practical terms, this might mean stronger investments in local education, healthcare, and infrastructure, all designed to meet the needs of Botswana. It could mean creating local councils that work with elected officials to ensure that policies truly benefit the people. Boko's ideas are revolutionary not only for Botswana, but also for the entire African continent. Across Africa, many countries have been grappling with the challenges posed by imported political systems. Nations like Mali, Niger, and Burkina Faso are already exploring new approaches, moving away from outdated frameworks and building governance structures that reflect the people's values and needs. If Botswana, under Boko's leadership, can make this African democracy work, it could set a new standard, a model for other African countries to follow. Imagine an Africa where nations are led by systems developed to serve their citizens, not to adhere to foreign standards or interests. In this context, Botswana could emerge as a beacon of hope and a symbol of resilience. For decades, African nations have been pressured to conform to Western standards. But Boko believes it's time for African countries to lead by example. His vision represents a shift from dependency to self-sufficiency, from external control to local empowerment. As Boko says, we have the wisdom to govern ourselves. We don't need to rely on systems that don't understand our unique strengths and challenges. Of course, this journey won't be easy. Boko faces substantial challenges from powerful lights, international corporations, and even political allies accustomed to the status quo. Transforming a political landscape that's been in place since 1966 is a monumental task. Furthermore, international investors may resist changes that threaten their interests, especially if new policies prioritize local communities over foreign corporations. Yet, Boko remains steadfast. His passion and commitment to his vision of African democracy have gained him a significant following. But he knows that to create a lasting impact, he'll need the support of the people and a solid coalition of leaders willing to push back against the pressures of global powers. He acknowledges these obstacles but believes they are a necessary part of building something truly groundbreaking. True change doesn't come easy, he says, but it's worth the effort for the future we envision. In his own words, Boko passionately describes his vision. The dogmatic approach of thinking, 
This is socialism, this is capitalism. Labeling one as socialist and the other as capitalist, it doesn't work for us. History offers guidance, not a blueprint. If we created society, we can reimagine it to work in ways that best suit us. This mindset represents a fundamental departure from simply adopting foreign frameworks. Boko wants to build a governance model that could inspire other African nations, a vision rooted in the belief that African countries can and should create systems that serve their unique needs. What Boko envisions is a society where people have a genuine stake in the decisions that affect them, where the prosperity of one does not come at the expense of another. This isn't about replacing one system with another. It's about creating something entirely new, a system that truly serves the African people. Imagine if other African countries adopted similar models. Countries like Ghana, Tanzania, and Nigeria could start channeling their resource wealth back into local economies, addressing social inequality and boosting sustainable development. Such a shift would be a game-changer for Africa, fostering a new era of self-reliance and prosperity. To understand Boko's commitment to African democracy, it's essential to know his background. Born in Mahalapi, Botswana, Boko has always been a champion of human rights and democracy. Before becoming president, he served as the leader of the opposition in Botswana's National Assembly, where he dedicated years to advocating for reform and fighting corruption. As a former human rights lawyer, Boko's career is defined by a relentless pursuit of justice, accountability, and transparency. Boko's election as president marks a significant milestone, not only because he defeated the Botswana Democratic Party BDP, which had held power since 1966, but because it signals a desire among the electorate for a new direction. His leadership represents a departure from the past, and his rise reflects a growing sentiment among young African voters who are increasingly disillusioned with liberation-era political parties that, in many cases, have failed to deliver on their promises. Duma Boko's leadership offers Africa a potential new path forward. If he succeeds in Botswana, it could inspire a wave of political transformation across the continent. His commitment to African democracy isn't just about Botswana. It's about creating a blueprint for other African nations to follow, a system of governance that champions the people's voices and reflects African values. Duma Boko's ideas are bold, and his ambitions for an African democracy are even bolder. If his vision succeeds, Botswana could become a guiding light for the continent, a place where Africans control their own destiny and create systems that truly reflect their values. So, what do you think? Could this unique approach reshape Africa's future? Would this model help other African nations address their challenges? And if so, how? Let us know your thoughts in the comments below. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up, share it with others, and don't forget to subscribe to the African web for more stories on Africa's progress and challenges. Together, let's continue exploring how Africa's visionaries are paving the way for a brighter future.